to match the viral video, Buster is carefully cocooned in bubble pack. Hold on a second, I'm getting dizzy. Me too. Until the protective packing is four inches thick. So it's pretty obvious that if we start to add padding, we're going to be reducing the impact by slowing down the deceleration process, that meeting of Buster and the pavement. The question is, is four inches of padding enough to reduce that deceleration to where Buster would survive? I don't think so. With Buster easy prey buried up to his neck in bubbles, it's time for him to make his 35-foot leap of faith. Adam's not confident. Look, it all comes down to this. Nobody would be happier than I if it turned out the internet was an accurate source of information. But sadly, it's just not so. All right, Buster fallen from 35 feet in bubble packaging. Three, come on, Buster. Two, one, go. Oh. That was a satisfying thud. I don't think it was a survivable thud, but it was satisfying. Buster bounced, but did he burst his own bubble? With all of this extra padding, we dropped Buster's maximum G load from 300 Gs to 260 Gs. He's still totally and utterly dead. Yeah, he's going to need a lot more padding than this to survive that fall. Indeed, he is. While four inches of bubbles did reduce Buster's G load, he's still three and a half times over the lethal limit. So Buster's dead falling naked and dead falling wrapped in bubble pack, where does that leave us? Well, I can't help but think that with enough of this stuff, sooner or later you'd be safe. I totally agree. Let's head back to the shop and see how much it would take for him to survive this fall. More bubble trouble. I like it. <laughs>